Move over, Mole King. You've got competition. This is the new um, Jingzi A3. <laughs> it's called the Spiral Top, or yeah, Top Quadcopter. But put it in uh, beginner's mode, and it is very gentle, very stable. But it's got an insane uh, expert yaw rate. Here, let me show you this for a second. This is the Jingzi A3. Now, the Jingzi A3, as you can tell, is another little uh, crony. Something a uh, size between a micro and a mini quadcopter. Uh, but doing initial flights with this at home, and uh, out here actually, I've done a couple of initial flights with it out here, this thing is extremely maneuverable. Um, it has a, you know, its name is the uh, top, the drone top model. And what that means is this thing does spin like a top. It's got even, I think it has a faster yaw rate than the uh, Mold King 33041. But of course, when you're flying at that high rate, it's kind of un uncontrollable. But it darn looks really cool, especially at night. Um, you'll see a follow-on night video of this quadcopter. So it's it's pretty darn cool at night. Um, daytime too, it's, it's a blur, <laughs> essentially, when it's spinning at the top. But put it in its lower rates and its intermediate rate, and it's uh, a very stable flyer at low, and a nice nimble flyer at intermediate rate, and controllable at an intermediate rate. So let's go for a flight of this. Uh, let's go over it real quick before we do that, though. Again, it's a basic uh, gyro, or basic uh, quadcopter model. It does have an on-off switch. Battery is 350 to 380 milliamp per hour you can fit in there. Um, the controller itself uh, does have an option. I guess they were looking at a potential option for including a camera and it has a camera pin here control pin here and camera attachment points there and you would activate the camera normally by pressing the throttle trim button to activate video downward and photos upward uh, the yaw trim button uh, act, turns the lights on and off and also enters uh, one key return and headless mode by pushing the other direction so this does have headless mode also um, let's go for a flight and try this out First off, I want to demonstrate what happens when it loses contact with the transmitter. Is it going to fly away or is it going to continue uh, or will it drop? So I'll give it a little bit of throttle, turn off the transmitter. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. After four seconds, it will drop. Okay, rebinding the transmitter. Make sure that it's pointed down there too. No, <laughs> let's rebind this again. I want to. Uh, set the headless mode bearing down the field there, and I want to point the quadcopter in that direction before taking off. Turning on the transmitter. Binding to the quadcopter. Okay. Let's just fly it around here at low rate. Very stable flyer at low rate. Nice gentle beginner's quadcopter. Let's bring it down and and show you that. See, this is the wind blowing it by me, by the way. <laughs> Let's set it back upwind again. Let's bring it down here also. But very, very nice and stable. So Steve C, as you can see here, this is a nice stable flyer at beginner rate. That's its yaw rate at a beginner. Actually, with this kind of a yaw, you could probably fly this indoors also at beginner rate. Let's take it up to intermediate. There's its funnels at intermediate. And let's go down field intermediate. This thing says it's 140 meters range. I find that hard to believe. We'll go down to the end of the field and see actually how much range we got. I'm almost at the end of the field, actually. <laughs> Holy moly, I think they're right. I'm about 100 meters right now, coming back. And this has well over 100 meters, so they might not be lying. Look at that thing go. Great flyer. Now, remember what I told you this does? It has a... There's a spinning top. <laughs> cool, huh? But we haven't demonstrated one key return yet. Let's go downfield. 
Wait a minute, I want to find out if by turning the lights off too. Let's turn the lights off. Lights are off. Actually, I think I just put it into headless mode. <laughs> that was that was headless mode apparently. Which way turns the lights off? Pushing it to the left? Yeah, pushing to the left turns off the head headless mode. Pushing to the right activates one key return in headless mode. Okay, let's hit the one key return and here it comes back and then I counter it. But it stays in headless mode, so the headless mode is confusing folks. This is left. No, I'm out of headless mode, I guess. Oh, my door popped open. Hold on a second, folks. My door popped open. Let me pop the door back shut. Okay, the door is back closed. Turning the quadcopter back on, pointing it downfield. Let's try out that uh, one key return again. So overall, this is a darn nice flyer. But I'm still unsure about the headless mode and one key return. Let's go upwind a bit. Downfield and activate that one key return. Okay, it's coming back. One key return. Is it in headless mode? Yes, it is. Right. Well, it appeared it was, but now it's not. Now it's back to normal. Let's go to intermediate rate. Send it back upfield again. Maybe this just has one key return. Only. Going up the field. Come on. You did it before. Oh, you got pushed to the right. <laughs> I keep forgetting. That was the lights. Okay, going up upwind again. Yeah, it's in headless mode right now. Pulling back. He thinks that's the headless mode bearing now. Coming, okay, one key return. Okay, that one key return is kind of confusing, folks. So uh, it appears that it does not have headless mode, but it has one key return. <laughs> so let's go finish this flight. Just flying it. The headless mode is kind of screwy. Okay, my lights are blinking right now, but the one key return worked. But I'm not sure it has headless mode. Go one more time upwind. One key return. Now it's going that way. <laughs> so the bearing on that one key return or that one key return changes. So it's not very um, it doesn't remember the bearing very well. The direction Okay, did I flip it yet? It does cheater flips as frequent flyer would call them. It climbs a bit. Can I do barrel rolls? Let's try that next. Let's go over here. Okay, it doesn't want to do any more. Oh yeah, it's still doing flips, but it didn't do the barrel roll. I'll try that again. Uh, pretty sloppy barrel rolls. <laughs> but yes, it is nice and maneuverable. Seems to have a good flight time. I like it. And again, if you put it in that high rate, hold on, it does this. The spinning top. Can you see it? It's a blur. <laughs> How about the other way? That is so cool, huh? Okay, coming out of that, going back to beginner's rate. Again, the beginner's rate is nice and stable, gentle. Gentle flyer. With a nice yaw rate, too. And there goes the battery. So, what do I think of this overall? <laughs> Mo King, you got a competitor. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it is a good flyer. Uh, very uh, comparable to the Mo King 33041, if not better.
I think it might be actually be better than the 33041. I like that beginner's rate. Uh, the beginner's rate on this is nice and gentle, yet it has a nice yaw rate too. So uh, you can do indoor flying with this pretty easily, I believe. Uh, the intermediate rate, nice and nimble also, nice and fast. Okay, has real good pitch at uh, intermediate rate. And that extreme yaw rate, <laughs> It's pretty damn cool. It looks really cool at night. I'll include a night flight to show you that. So I hope you enjoyed this flight of the, um, what is the name of this? Z A3. J I N G Z H I A3. <laughs> Quadcopter 101. Oh, it has a nice long range too. I forgot to mention that. Quadcopter 101, signing out. Night flying with the 668 A3. Hope you enjoy this flight. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Oh, very gentle flyer. Let's go to higher rate. Is there a higher rate? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, there is. Let's bring that in to show you that. <laughs> when it's in higher rate, it blinks. And it's a blur. Look at that. Again, this is a 668A3. Really cool little quad. I don't think it's expensive at all. This is intermediate mode, which is very nimble. Again, back to expert. An expert does that. That's insane. <laughs> okay, I'll fly it around in beginner mode now. So you can see it. Very gentle in beginner mode. This is an enjoyable flyer, actually. It really is. That's pretty good range on it, too. Let's bring it in again. Send it up to Mars again. Send it out into space. Where did that thing go? <laughs> great, great little quad. This is going to be a, a big hit. Folks are going to really like this one. Backward funnels, left side funnels, forward funnels. Great night flyer, the 668A3. It's up there real fast. Let's bring that in. Come to Papa. Look how stable that is. Great quadcopter. Hope you enjoyed the flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.